Hi guys, welcome back to some more chapters of Mac B Kids by. We left off where Mac had decided that he was going to borrow something from France to make a trade with the president of France so that he could get his Game Boy and his and the spoon back. The Queen's spoon. So here we are, chapter 10, Art Heist. This is the Louvre. It is one of the greatest museums in the world. Inside you will find many priceless works of art. The seated scribe, good name. The lion with an articulated tail, good name. And this portrait of a woman named Lisa, which might be the most famous painting in the world. It's called the Mona Lisa, good name. Even the building itself is a work of art, one that people have been working on for more than 400 years. In the 1500s, the King of France built this. In the 1800s, the Emperor of France added this. And in the 1980s, the President of France hired a man named I Am P Pie to add this. Today, most people love Pie's Pyramid but when I was a kid, many people hated it. They thought a sleek glass shape looked silly next to all of those old buildings. They thought it was too modern. They thought it was too new. They thought the president of France had built a monument to himself like a pharaoh of Egypt. But I thought the pyramid was great. I still do. I thought it was great because I was a kid and most kids like new things because kids are new things too. I also thought it was, a gr it was great because I was a secret agent, and most secret agents like glass things because glass is easy to break into. And so, late one night in 1989, I found myself perched on the side of I Am Pie's Great Glass Pyramid, dressed in black, wearing sunglasses, with Freddy strapped to my back. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to breaking into the Louvre. Kids, you should not do this in real life. But I did, and here's how. A step-by-step -step guide to breaking into the Louvre. Step one, I placed a bath mat I'd taken from the hotel tub on a pane of glass, suction cups down. Step two, I pried a diamond off Freddie's collar. Step three, I said, thanks Freddie. Freddie licked my neck. Step four, very carefully, I used the diamond to cut a large rectangular shape around the bath mat. Step five, I lifted the bath mat and a piece of glass with it. I said, we're in, Freddy. He licked my neck again. Step six, using a rope made from sheets I'd also taken from the hotel, I lowered myself into the museum. Step seven, now here's where things get interesting. Freddy and I blank down a flight of Blank, 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 sleeping, blank, kind of like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, blank, using seven bananas, what? Which is why secret agents should carry bananas with them at all times, blank, cut the red wire or the blue wire, easy, I cut all the wires, blank, disabled the alarm, blank, seven digit code, which was and still is, blank, a ham sandwich. Then all there was to it was two and a big blank. And there we were, standing in front of the Mona Lisa. Boy, he sure left out a lot. I guess we'll never know, because he's a spy. We did it, Freddy, I said, and tried to wipe the mustard from the sandwich off my shirt. Chapter 11, to rob a thief. The Mona Lisa was smaller than I thought it would be. It was also greener than I thought it would be, but that's probably just because I was wearing night vision sunglasses. Very carefully, I lifted the painting off the wall. I paused, holding the painting aloft, bracing for an alarm. After five seconds of silence, I smiled. Looks like step seven worked, I said to Freddie, who was busy licking the mustard off my shirt. I tucked the Mona Lisa under my arm and made for the exit. Halt! Someone cried in the dark. I froze. Turn around. I turned around. I was face to face with a guard. 
Hands in the air, the guard shouted. But then I'll drop the Mona Lisa, I said. Good point, said the guard. Hand me the painting. Reluctantly, I gave the guard the Mona Lisa. He pulled out a pair of handcuffs and chained me to the handrail of a nearby staircase. I slumped against the wall. Be careful where you sit, said the guard. That spot is dusty. You don't want to get those jeans dirty. How could I worry about my jeans at a time like this when my whole mission was falling apart? Still, they were great jeans. I shifted to a clean spot. This is all a mistake, I said. My name is Hugh Anthony Craig III, and I am simply here from Kalamazoo, Michigan to tune the Louvre's pianos. The guard laughed. Wait here, Mr. Craig. Will Mr. Craig III, I said. Wait here, Mr. Craig III. Soon you'll be tuning all the pianos you want in jail. Huh, I said, but the guard was already gone. Oh, and that's as far as we're gonna go today. Sorry, everybody. Guess we'll find out what happens to Mac tomorrow. I'll see you all then. Bye, everybody.